Hello my internet friends, today we are going to be talking about my May favorites video which I'm so excited about because all month long I have been waiting to do this video because this month I have been loving quite a few things that I'm really excited to share with you guys. So first off I just want to say that this weekend I was at Gen Beauty in LA which was so fun and I actually today was the last day of Gen Beauty so if I look really tired right now it's because I am really tired. Without further ado let's get into my first favorite. I am loving this nail polish from Revlon. It's the scented nail polish line called Perfumery. This one especially has been my favorite this month. It's in China Flower. I love that it's like a bright and cheery red color. It's just kind of like a happy summer red, which I really like. It's nice to find a pretty red color that's wearable in the summertime, so I've been loving this color. Since we are on the subject of nail polish, I'm going to get right into this box that I have here from a company called Nailette. You know those ideas that you hear about and you're just you just think to yourself, why did I not think of that idea? That's brilliant. I had that kind of moment when I found out about this company. It is a really cool idea. They send you some options for every month for kind of what's on trend or what you like. You can select different type of nail polishes that you like. You could say that you are edgy or you're classic. There's different options that you can select or you can choose like a mixed se uh, selection. So I went with mixed. They sent me two different colors. One is Romper Room and it's Essie and the other one's OPI and the color is Did Suzy Mango, which is more of like a bold color. It's a bold, like corally orange color. So yeah, I will link the company below for you guys if you want to check it out. Next we have the Real Techniques Blending Sponge. Real Techniques Miracle Sponge. The Miracle Complexion Sponge. Next I have the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. So it's kind of gross because it has my cover up on it and I washed it today, it just doesn't all come off the color. So anyways, this is very similar to the Beauty Blender, which I've actually never tried, but I've always wanted to try it. But then when I went to Ulta and I saw that this was way less expensive, I decided I was going to try this one out. And it's actually really nice and it works really well. Which brings me into my next product, which is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. I recently got to do a photo shoot and I went and got my makeup done at Sephora. And Sephora used this Makeup Forever HD High Definition Foundation on me. And they used this sponge and they got it a little bit damp. And these two together, I just loved my complexion after I left and in the photos. This is actually a great foundation for when you're getting your picture taken or when you're on camera. So I am really liking this foundation. Since we are on the topic of foundation, I'm going to be tart. Tart. I'm going to be tart. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation, which I know everyone's talking about this foundation right now. This is in light to medium neutral is the color that I use. This is actually really cool and I'm very impressed by especially the packaging. The product is awesome as well, but the packaging is really what impressed me the most. It has like a little net here that grabs your foundation so that it doesn't get all over the place and it's just really neat the way that they did that. I wouldn't say, I know that you guys have heard me talk about the Hello Flawless from Benefit, the powder foundation from them. I would not say that I like this more than that powder foundation. This one is definitely my favorite for this month. I've been grabbing this the most this month over that one just because I've been wanting to try it out and I really have been extremely impressed by this. The next thing I want to show you guys is this gorgeous necklace from J. Crew. I walked into J. Crew and I saw this necklace just hanging there beautifully and I fell in love. I love the bronzy gold color of the necklace. I love the blue that's in there. I just really love the color combination that's on this necklace. It's gorgeous. It looks so pretty with just a plain t-shirt. It's so pretty. I love it. 
right, it's getting weird. I'm tired. I'm tired, so it's gonna get weird. The next thing that we have is this leafy headband goddess type. Reminds me of a Greek goddess. And I love it like this, but I especially love it when I have a messy bun on the top of my head and it's just a crazy hair day. This little headband will just kind of pull everything together if I'm, especially when I'm wearing like my gray plain t-shirt that I wear. If I put this on with a messy bun on the top of my head, it kind of pulls everything together and makes it look like I actually got ready when I didn't. I've always kind of wanted one of these, so I saw it at Urban Outfitters and... I bought it because I liked it. That's kind of what happens. I want to talk about this hair product that I have been just loving this month and using pretty much every day. This is the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Renewal Beach Spray. What you do is when you get out of the shower, you just spray this all over your hair. And I like to scrunch it when I get out because it leaves your hair once it dries with these like beautiful summer beachy waves. I love my hair the best and I think that this is a common theme amongst women who have slightly wavy hair is when you get out of the ocean your hair kind of does this wavy mermaid look that we all love and this spray will achieve that look without having to go jump into the ocean. I am an elephant lover, so my cousin made this little graphic. She's a graphic artist, and she just makes different images that you can get onto anything you want, really. She sent me this coffee mug with this image that she made, and I think it's so adorable because I am in love with elephants, and I think she calls this image Elephant Love, but I will link the website below. If you guys like this little image, you can get this on literally a bunch of different things, so I will link that below, because if you if you guys like elephants as much as I love elephants, then you might like this. Okay, this guy. I wanted to talk about this, my last, I think, two favorites videos, but I kept forgetting and I kept hitting myself in the head, not very hard, but slightly, and I was a little bit mad at myself because I keep forgetting to share this with you guys. I'm so in love with this overnight mask. It's from Origins, it's called Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. My favorite thing about it is the smell. Oh my gosh, maybe that's my second favorite thing about it because I really love the way that this makes my skin feel. You use it overnight, which is really cool. It's a mask that you don't have to wipe off. You just put it on your face after you cleanse and tone and all that good stuff. You just put it on your face and you go to bed and when you wake up in the morning, it really feels like your skin drank a bunch of water overnight and it woke up and it was really refreshed and plump and excited to be alive. Next we have the Mega Plush Mascara. This is Maybelline. It's called Mega Plush Volume Express. I just love everything about this mascara. It has a really good consistency. The, the product itself is really nice. It really, it's not drying on your on your eyelashes, which I feel like a lot of mascaras do. They they come out just like really harsh and dry almost, to where I get clumpy and it just doesn't look good. This feels like it almost has like an argan oil in it or something like that, which I know it doesn't, but it feels like really moisturizing to your eyelashes and it doesn't smudge and it just like elongates my lashes and I just really like this mascara. It's my go-to. The next two things that I want to talk about are email subscriptions. So I don't like subscribing to different websites because obviously your email is going to fill up with a bunch of junk. But I have a professional business email that I use for only important things and I recently subscribed to two different websites that I'm really liking right now and you get one email a day from them but the first one that I want to talk about is the skim that one is really cool because what it is is it gives you a it's targeted towards women and what it does is it gives you a 
short summary of what's going on in the world in the news. So just different things around the world, which is really nice because when I wake up in the morning, I go to my phone when I'm having my cup of coffee and I can open up that email or if I'm at my computer and I can really get a glimpse of what's happening in the world and what people are talking about so that you're kind of educated and if a conversation comes up you know what's going on and you're able to carry on the conversation and talk about it so I really like that um, I don't watch the news I don't open the newspaper so it's really nice to get that email and a short version of just kind of what's happening and what's going on in the news and what's headlining and and whatnot the second website that I want to talk about that I subscribed to, and just so you guys know, little disclaimer, I'm not getting paid or anything to talk about these websites and tell you about them. I just, they're really, I enjoy websites and different things that just educate me and give me more knowledge about the world and life and, and whatnot and money, which is kind of brings me into the other website that I want to talk about is called dailyworth.com. I, su I subscribe to them. I get an email a day from them and the Daily Worth is really cool. What it does is it talks about money. It talks about like 401ks, investments, Roth IRAs, all that really fun stuff that we don't really learn about very much. Nobody really teaches us that stuff, so I think it's really cool to be on that site and to get an email a day. I actually go onto that site and just read different articles and check different things out because I really enjoy being knowledgeable about money and about where to put my money and where to invest my money and what's a good way to save for retirement and stuff like that. I think that that's really good and really important for young women to know because I don't want to sit here and give anybody like a money lecture or anything but it is actually really smart to start saving for the future at a young age so just something to think about. Human favorite for the month is Hannah Mags. I love watching her channel and her adorable little family. She has a husband named Steph and a little boy that she calls Mr. G and they are so cute and I love watching their vlogs. They're so artistically done and I love just kind of the flow of them. So if you are not subscribed to Hannah Mags, I would definitely go over there, show some love because I know that you guys will love them as much as I love watching that channel. So it looks like that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm going to be having a new video up very soon with the hashtag brave is rad so be on the lookout for that if you guys posted any brave photos in hashtag brave is rad and if you don't know what i'm talking about i will link that video below so you guys can watch that and kind of get an idea of what i am talking about for hashtag brave is rad and that means you guys have a little bit more time to post pictures into that hashtag and i will be showing some of your pictures i probably can't do them all in in one video but I will be selecting some of the videos or some of the photos to or videos you could do videos too I will be selecting some of those to be showing in one of my next upcoming videos so that will be coming very soon I love you guys so much I'll see you in the next video bye